crew down there with the drones. Yeah, say. Drone fishing crew. Hi, Morgan here from Paul's Fishing Systems. We're here with oh. Graham from Bullet Fishing and Caleb from Outdoor Adventures with Kays showing the new Bullet Fishing Sonar Contiki. Just been driving down the beach. As you can see, there's another truck down there. He's, he's having a fish. Um, but what stopped us here is a bit of muscle spent. So, fish are usually where there's food. So, stands to reason we're into it. This is the 54 pound thrust autopilot sonar bullet fishing con tiki. This is as good as it gets. Here's Graham loading in the batteries into the bullet con tiki. So every bullet Contiki now comes with two lithium batteries and one lead acid for the uh, balance. So the lithium batteries are 10 amps, 12 volts each, and the lead acid is 9 amps, 12 volts. While this is quite a calm day, which we picked for filming purposes, the 54 pound thrust bullet comp tickies can go out in some very rough sea, which you'll see in our other videos. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, that been uh, pre cotton day? Yeah, I find it. Nice. Before I go fishing normally. That's a one. for the first set. Yep. Bit of prep, eh? Yeah, just makes it easier and quicker. That's a one. Get all excited when you first get to the Yeah, <laughs> shortcuts can be taken. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. So is that Oki and that mullet, is it? No, this is the Benito by the looks. Oh, Benito? Yep. Oh, it is too. Cool. Quite big pieces of bait. This is left over actually for what we're using up in Northland for the fishing competition up there. Ah, yeah, choice. Probably been pulled out before. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's it, eh? Put it back in the freezer, take it out next time. Yep. That way, you know it can go that way. Yeah. Here we go, watch this. As soon as it touches the water, she auto starts. And just like that. Yep, and she's away. Fishing on the west coast, so like yeah, yeah, it'd be a bit short back. Well, you can still, yeah, it is at times, yeah, you have to swim up, fish it, yeah, it's a low tide, yeah, you have to get out of the water to launch a long way, you've got to 
So this is going to show the bullet Kontiki winch, which has a fully welded drum, 200 watt 4 pole motor, and you'll see with the nice big flat base it's got there, that's very easy to mount to anything as Graham has done here uh, to the back of his car. The bungee there just puts enough drag on it to stop it overrunning. We're here, this is the bullet fishing Kontiki. Yep. Give us a rundown as to why um, this Kentucky is so special mate. Okay, it's got a couple of features which uh, you won't find on any other make of Kentucky on the market. Um, namely, uh, it has auto start. So um, it's a safety feature and it's a convenient feature to have. You can um, set the, the run time and once that's set it's, it's ready to be armed. Put them in the water and as soon as the uh, splash wave gets over the sensor which is located on the top of the Kentucky, it will fire into life and off it goes. So you can judge if it's on a, if you've got waves, we've got no, haven't got them today, but you're on the west coast or if you've got big waves coming in, you can pick when you put it in the water and sort of, uh, you don't actually have to go too far out of the water to get it to, to go. Nice. No mucking around with magnets and looking down while you've got big waves sort of. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Um, and the other feature is this, is we sell a sonar operated fish finder Kontiki. It um, detects if it goes out and comes across the school of fish, it will mark that position where the school of fish is. If the fish are within two meters of the bottom, and it doesn't matter what depth it is, but as long as they're within the two meter range at the bottom, um, and at the density that, uh, that is factory set, um, so it's a, a school of fish, it will carry on for 200 metres, so the hooks are in the vicinity with a school of fish that meet those parameters down, and it will stop. So, um, yeah. unless the school of fish have moved along or, or they're not on the bike, uh, you've got a good chance of catching them. Nice, so you've put, a, you've put a fish finder, in essence, you've put a fish finder on the Kontiki. That's correct. Oh my yeah. goodness. So it's built inside, it's... Um, quite separate to the rest of the electronics for the Kontiki so um, it, yeah it runs its own, own little circuit and um, sends a signal to stop it if it meets those parameters. Oh, very yeah. cool, very cool. Mm. All right and so we've, we've put it out 20 meters, it's gone perfectly straight. Yeah. Um, 20 meter set unless she spots that's up, some that's fish. fish. Here we, here we go. That would have spooled the, the uh, winch. Ah, it's so. Gone for its full 20 minutes. Ah, it's okay. Gone it's gone for eight minutes. Eight minutes. So yeah. it's found a decent school of yeah. fish and it's dropped our hooks yep. directly on it because that should be empty. That should be empty. Right, okay. So the advantage of that also is you're not sending it out to the horizon. So we'll get multiple sets of a set of batteries. Nice. We can put that in the, back in the, in the water again and off it will go. Um, so we can, yeah, keep doing that and, and get multiple sets. Love it, okay. All right, so there we go. Talking about it and it just uh, gave us a demo <laughs> right there. So that's gonna be awesome. First set, first set here at uh, Uratiti Beach. And now uh, we'll let you know how we get on. So while the first Kontiki is out there soaking, we've got a second Kontiki to set out. This is a standard 54 pound auto nav, so this one doesn't have the sonar. So this Kontiki will just carry on until the timer stops. Even the sonar bullet Kontiki you can actually set to just run off the timer if you didn't want to use the sonar. Here's Nathan baiting up our second trace rack ready for the second set. We're using mullet on this set. We used octopus on the first set with a bit of bonito. So we're trying to have all bases covered. So bullet fishing now uses the PFS target snapper hooks and inline swivel clips on all of their trace racks as well. As you'll see on this one which is one of the PFS trace racks. So the benefit with these hooks is that they have been scientifically proven to catch more legal size and less undersized snapper. And the benefit with the inline clips is that we've got the swivel built onto the clip so they don't turn back on themselves and tangle like other clips do. So 
It's another Contiki. So this is the non-sonar version, eh? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Autopilot, auto start. Very cool. Oh, this one. <laughs> this has got some tricky electronics on it. All right. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll just set that again. Five, ten, how far? Fifteen. Yep. Three. It's fifteen. Go. Sensor on the top for the auto start. Where she goes, eh? So in case you missed that, the bullet contickies come with a auto start function, which means that once you've set your time and your direction, once a wave goes over the sensor, it automatically starts the motor. So this is the PFS 230 watt Contiki and Kite winch. Uh, for more information on this particular winch, see the link in the description below. Yeah. Both um, Contikis are out there now. One of them's still still kind of moving through the water, but um, yeah, like you saw the first set we did, it's um, got a sonar on the front. Uh, which is absolutely amazing. So it basically will pick up the fish on the bottom like we talked about and um, it's this not even gone out a kilometer and uh, it's it's sitting on top of fish. So basically once it senses the fish, it'll go out another um, 150 meters, which is how long the uh, surf line is or the clearance from the Contiki to, to where your first sinker starts. Um, so it'll just continue to run that over and drop your hook section directly on top of the fish. Um, oh man, so, so simple, so easy to use, automatically starts in the water, um, and you're away, you are away. Um, then the second one here is auto nav still, still got the auto nav feature, and I've got I got to say, one's gone directly straight out from us, the other one we've kind of set on a bit of an, an angle, um, so one's going out straight, uh, pretty much hasn't shifted its location, the other one we've set on a little bit of an angle, and I'll show you how, how close they are and um, they are bang on the course that we've set them on so um, they're, they're made well man, they are made well so yeah, bullet fishing um, we'll put up some links in the description um, below so you can check them out but mate, definitely a good time definitely a good time so yeah, let me, I'll show you how close together these winches are because it it's pretty impressive so here's, here's one of them right here and there's the other one right there so, as you can see, very close together. <laughs> it's not even a car park between those two, so yeah. And um, not even worried. Very cool, very cool. So this is showing how powerful those 54 pound bullet Contikis actually are. This winch had 2000 meters of line on it we only set it for 15 minutes and it's already running out and it's still pulling. Wow. What's happening here? How long did we set it for? 15? Wow. It's taking that big <laughs> There it is there. Wow. So while the two contikis are soaking, there's a bit of time to kill. So Caleb's got his slide baiting set out. So this is just uh, one big 8 ounce breakout sinker on the end of a line. 
uh, quite heavy 24 kilo nylon that he's using on this one. And then he's going to try and get himself a livey and put it on one of the one way slide bait clips that Paul's fishing system supply and hope for a kingy or a John Dory or a big snapper. Sandbar right there. Go and get the old uh, live egg here now and see if we can catch us a little car wire or something, something small anyway and see if we can slide them out there. And hey, we've got the two contikis fishing down the beach. We've got the boys with the drones. We've got the surf casters out. What a bang. Flashes on the horizon. Hey. Good one day, eh? And I had to pay no effort here or anybody. Oh, gee. Yeah. Yeah, plane. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah. Plug them in and she goes, eh? Oh yeah, that's what you want to see. Oh mate, I'll take one of those over 30. 30 snapper. Ah, yeah, so here we go. Gee, good size one too. She comes. Our second set came in with two gurnard. Um, so very quiet on the snapper front. This one was up two kilometers as well, so she was right out there. Um, yeah, guy um, that was Pushing down from us said that um, he, he'd only caught a couple of smaller snappers, so bit of a bit of a tricky. Day. I mean, they, to be fair, she's flat as a pancake out here, um, so it's going to be a challenging day. Um, but we're we're three gurned up so far. One of them we've just put back because it was a bit undersized, but um, um, we're three gurned up, uh, and I've been given some intel. That the boys that were drone fishing have only caught one gurnard. So, so far, it seems as though the old uh, Kontiki's got the edge. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Sometimes it's just about the depth of water, the distance, and uh, where you're putting your bait. Um, today we're using mullet. Uh, we're using mullet, uh, octopus, and bonito as our baits. So, got a bit of a range heading out there. And um, I'm still having to go trying to catch a livey. Because uh, it's outgoing tide, I'm not going to bother uh, fishing with bait. Um, but uh, there's a bit of a sandbar, so perfect place to prospect for some live bait. Um, if I can get a live, I'll slide it out on the old slide baiting rig, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see how we get on. But so far, Kontiki's been uh, bringing in some carrots, which is poor oh, mate. I'll take a gurn at any day. Um, but we've got one set that's just gone out, so second set on the. Sonar, um, Auto Nav, Bullet, Kontiki, and um, we're just bringing in the one that went, uh, it's just the Auto Nav, Bullet, uh, Kontiki, right. and uh, so far nil on the surf casters. But um, like in saying that, I am only going for liveies, so let's get back into it, eh? It's on the Sonar, Auto Nav, we've set this one out a little bit further. And um, we'll see we'll see how this one goes. So it's set to stop in front of fish um, that it finds. Uh, and then the other one we're bringing in 
Um, actually, there it's not too far right now. There he is. Uh, we'll bring that one in, reset it, and send that back out. And um, I'm going to go back over and see if I can catch some live bait again. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give you a bit of a nosy as to how it goes when we're uh, back on the reset. Run. Ten minute run, eh? Because that last one we did was all the way out, eh? Yeah, all the way out, yeah. Right. Uh, fish might be close. A bit closer, I like it. I like it. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but um, what I've been doing is chumming up some pilchards. It's the same things I'm using for bait. Just cutting them up into small pieces and then... Um, In my hand, I'm putting it into the wave and mushing it up so that all the good juicy stuff starts coming out of it and um, all the paddle crabs and that'll soon start coming up to have a go and um, all of that so you can see it there on the bottom. It's all the bits of pilchard that I've been chomping up. And then um, I've just got a sabiki here on a soft bait rod. This is the Alvi Orbiter, 8 to 10 kilo, just a sabiki, four hooks, bait, and away you go, there's a paddle crab there. This car, he's gone now. But, um, and that's literally how I go about trying to catch liveies in the beach. Now, there's not much movement in this beach today, but um, we will continue to have a go. See if we can get a livey and put them out. Um, just there, you can see the uh, Kontiki coming in. Um, yeah. It's been a beautiful day, um, real flat, real calm, um, which isn't the most uh, ideal sort of sit to um, fishing, but um, mate, beautiful day to be out here nonetheless. Uh, yeah, so we'll, I mean, I'll keep going and seeing if I can get some uh, action on the old sabikis and then um, I might change it up and, oh, there's a crab on my sabiki now, I can feel it. <laughs> Um, I might change it up if nothing goes on and see if I can uh, flick a soft bait around. There's a sandbar not too far out, like I was saying earlier. So there might be some kahawai hanging around the sandbar, but yeah. Hey, I'm just loving being out here, to be really honest. The um, bro hanging in the, uh, the Kontiki. He'll reset that in a moment and um, we'll be away. Okay, awesome. Our drone boys. So they, they must be all done for the day over in a second see what the tally was he's the man that was uh, holding it down with the drones today so how do we get on how we get on a bit slow today yep a little gurned snapper to throw back but it's good having everyone there they got to see a few things nice got to show our new condor drone that's coming out the a22 oh my goodness so that one's got a mechanical release as well as a tension release gee pretty cool testing it out so what it return it'll release the gear so you're not going to bring your hooks back if you haven't done it properly cool really cool Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, Gurnard and uh, Snapper put back. Uh, so far, we're nil on the uh, surf cast. As you can see, the slide rig is still sitting there, um, feeling left out. Uh, and we're three Gurney, um, three Gurnard on the Kontiki. So, Kontiki is killing us. Kontiki is killing us. Yep, Nathan's, Nato, Nato's on the board today. He's, uh, oh, nice. You hear that? Consequences. <laughs> Yeah, so it was uh, biggest fish was a pie. Oh, uh, most fish cleaned the car. Oof, and I think average fish was a box. Oh, jeepers! So I think I got to clean Nathan's car tonight. Okay, hey, hey, let's not count out the surf caster. <laughs> so all I got to do is catch a kahawai, and I've got you. Yeah, all, all I, I got to do is catch a kahawai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, there's a sandbar right there. I just can't get a blinking livey yet. <laughs> so, nah, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. See how we get on, and hopefully soon. Hopefully soon the surf cast will be put into some action. You've got the same idea I have. Looking for a livey inside the sandbar. A couple more of his mates. Mm. Here we go, eh? Set number four. So I'm... Um, so what's the plan here? So this one, how, how far out has this one gone? Uh, it's about nearly two kilometers. Nearly two k? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just there you go, that's what that looks like. Gonna bring it in a few hundred meters and stop. 
Oh, right. If there's any fish there. Nice. Just keep doing that for yep. a while. Nice. Call that the Kontiki bus stop. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Stop off, pick up a few passengers. Cover, cover a bit of, no? Bit of brown. Pick up some passengers, then bring it back in yeah, a bit more. Hopefully get some passengers. That's the one. Yeah. That's how we do it. Um, I've put a bit of a pause on the um, trying to catch liveies. We've had gannets flying past all day, and it's gone a bit shallow between the shoreline and the sandbar. Um, and uh, the amount of gannets that have been flying past and not one has di uh, done a dive in front of us is quite indicative of um, the fact that she's pretty quiet here today. So, yeah, pushing pause for now. We might, um, might resume when the tide turns. We'll see how we get on. Pulling in the auto nav non sonar Kontiki right now, and um, that's the one that we've put in close. So we put that one out in 10 minutes. Um, here we go, here's the book section coming in. So we'll see what happened on the in close. The other one was out 2k's, um, and we're doing a bit of stopping every couple of hundred meters. So let's see how we go. Seaweed, eh? Lots of seaweed, man. But damn, that water's crystal clear today. Got a little um, note. Wow, what we've done is um, we've tried to mix up. So obviously we've got a few different types of bait um, that we've sent out there. But we've also tried to mix up the type of trace that we're using. So some of them um, are just clear traces. Some have got the floating beads on them as well. Um, and that's just to see if there's certain things um, closer to the bottom, like the gurnard. Um, there's stuff up off the bottom. Um, and some of the uh, different fish species um, really come in quite hard on the different colored beads. So yeah, it, it does pay when you're, when you're out there fishing, especially in winter, like right now, um, the harder time of the year to get, get fish on the, on the beach. Um, pays to mix it up and, and try different things so yeah this the set was in close we wanted to try it out the last set we pulled back in all of the fish were on the, um, the shore side um, of the set so we thought oh, well, we'll put one out um, closer um, and then we'll, we'll put the other one out there two k's like we said earlier um, but there is a lot of weed around so it'll be interesting to see how the other set's gone this one looks like we may not have had any joy, but we'll see. Still some hooks to come in. <laughs> Look at that beast. <laughs> Alright, here's the 2K set. This is the one with the sonar again. Little fish finder built into a Kontiki, eh? How cool is that? Seaweed, eh? Oh, is that a goony? Is it another goonard? Come on, you good thing. That's what we like to see. Oh, that's a good one. That's what we like to see. 
Oh, there's another one. That's what we like to see. There he is. Here's another one. Good stuff. A bit more like it. It's the final haul on the um, Sona Kontiki um, by Bullet Fishing. What a machine. Um, fair to say it's been really, really quiet today. I mean, I hinted at it earlier, we've been, we've been seeing gannets um, flying up and down the beach the whole time we've been here basically. And um, there's a sandbar here, um, everything. And uh, not once have we seen them dive, not once have we um, seen any sign of life around. I mean, it's, it's winter. It's, it's pretty flat to be fair as well but um, yeah we got a bunch of gurney and I tell you what um, although yeah we were hoping to see some snapper come up I'll take gurney over snapper any day of the week so um, good haul of gurneys I think all up there's about six of them in the bin now um, and Kentucky's were definitely the winner today poor Rod never even got to slide a livey out so, yep, we were ready for it, but uh, she wasn't to be, so I'll have to bow, bow in defeat today. <laughs> doing it good, doing it well, man, doing it real well. So, um, yeah, um, check out the bullet fishing con tickies. I've used all of them now, and I'm man, I rate them pretty high. When you've got a uh, fish finder on your con tiki, you've got something pretty special indeed. So. Don't be surprised if you see me doing more videos with those bad boys. Um, and I definitely want to do another day where we get out, slide baiting, drone fishing, and Kontiki fishing, and see if I can uh, see if I can have a, a bit of a hang with the big boys. <laughs> Choice. Oh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bit of a chill out on the beach today. Um, if you haven't already, hit that um, subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment below uh, what you want to see more of this summer. Right now it's winter, um, but it'll be coming into spring soon. And uh, with that means we're about to get busy chasing kingies, um, wharf fishing, uh, surf casting, drone fishing. It's all going to go on. So, yeah, comment below. Let us know what you want to see some more of, and we will get out there. What's our, what's our recap of uh, the day so far? We got a total of five journeys, I think it was. Yeah. Um, Four of those are caught off the Sono Kontiki, yep. and side by side the uh, non Sono Kontiki caught one. Right, look at uh, that. Yeah, that's the difference that predominantly you do see um, when you're fishing with a Sono Kontiki. Right, right. Ah, look at that. And uh, here we've got um, Chris who was drone fishing. And uh, the, the recap of your day was, mate? Uh, two fish, one yep. gunard. Snapper that I had to throw back, unfortunately. But we had a really good turnout at the beach. Yep, nice. Um, Pretty cool, we had a few customers that already had drones, need a little more help on how to do it, how to catch it. Nice. And then I got to demonstrate with our new A22 drone coming out. Yeah. So that one's got a mechanical and tension release. Nice. So you can fly out, stop wherever you want. If you know a spot you want to get to, you can stop, push the button, it'll drop your baits. Or nice. if you like, go the traditional way, just keep flying and it'll pop off. Hey, nice, nice. And final recap from the surf caster. Yeah. Big fat donut, big fat donut on my one. Um, so I got absolutely nothing on the surf casters, not even a livey, which is absolutely embarrassing. But um, hey, it's a team sport. It's a team sport today, and there's gurnard in the bin. So uh, we'll probably go back now and grab a salad. Pretty pie. Um, yeah, start heading home, and uh, got a bit of clean up and pack up to do, and then we are off. So uh. Good, good day, good day out on the beach, and uh, not even far from home. So, yeah. Paul's Fishing Systems, um, look up Bullet Fishing. We'll have some links in the description below, so you can check them out. But mate, I tell you what, that sonar Bullet Fishing Kontiki, pretty deadly, pretty deadly, I must say. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, family. Have an awesome day, and we'll uh, see you again soon on the next adventure. Here's the end result. Beautiful carrots. 
Me, 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 me